Okay, now the next step is to get the plastic shroud off. Uh, there's tabs on the front and on the back. And so you need a flathead screwdriver for this. And all you do is you, you gently push down on it and you start it to come through. Okay, I got it started there. I'm going to turn it. Okay, there's two. Push it down and turn. Okay, I got that side completely off. Now when you get one side off, the other side usually will just come come away from it. So you're going to about use your hand for the other side. Well, maybe. Okay, it's coming off now. Okay, there's the top piece. It is now off. Set that to the side. Now the next duty is to pull the the uh, GPU heat sink off of it. And so what I usually do is I kind of turn it back and forth for a little bit while applying up pressure. And after I feel like I got it somewhat loose, I can go ahead and take this screwdriver and just turn it when it's underneath and see it come right off. Okay. I set this to the side. I'll deal with this later. I'll clean it up before I put it back in the box to save it. So I'll set that to the side. Here's the GPU. Now this other plate here is the uh, heat sink for all the memory and VRMs. So I just want to wiggle it just like I did the, for the GPU heat sink and it should come right up. And there it came. Okay, so turn it to the side. And here is the fan power. And I should be able to just pull that off. You can use your flathead screwdriver. Okay, there, now they are apart from each other. What I like to do <clears throat> is because, remember, I resell everything, it's a good idea to go ahead and save all this thermal, thermal interface material and put it back to where it was. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this back. When I pulled my other card apart, I actually had more of it on the on this piece, which is good. There we go. I'm going to get this right, I know it. Okay, I double check. I got all the all the pads off of this card, and I got them all on here. Now I will put this with the rest of it, and so if I ever have to put it back together, I have all my pads ready to go. Set that off to the side, and now we're down to just the card. Okay. It's amazing to me how these cards look when you take all its, the cooling stuff off. It doesn't seem like there's much to it, especially the cost five hundred dollars or so. Okay, what I do from here is I get a paper towel like so and there's a lot on there 
and usually if you rub it with a paper towel, I don't put any solvents on there because the solvents tend to run down on the side. And you've got to be careful when you, you know, when you wipe this up, you don't want chunks of it to fall off and get rubbed into the circuitry because a lot of thermal interface grease has a high capacitance and some can actually be uh, conductive. So what I do is I place it on top. It is dry and you do one one or two rubs on each side and then you then you change the place on the towel that you're using. And what will happen is you will get it all up and there will be no mess. Okay, double check that you don't have anything lying around on the sides. And I don't. So now I get my alcohol pads. And I'll go ahead and use one just for the GPU. You want to clean it up as good as you can. And see, it is pulling stuff off of it. And then I get another alcohol pad. And I put it into a little ball or a little square and I just wipe the top of all the memory modules just like this. Now the small ones you don't want to get any of your towel or anything caught on the circuitry so you need to be careful. Then you fan it down, let the alcohol evaporate, and so now you have a clean card ready to put together. So that's how you take the uh, heat sink and get it prepared for the water block on the GTX 480.